I'm going to get back to the New York Post report that came out over the weekend. This was a front page. I believe this was Sunday. Yes, it was. Uh, mop secret. Now, what's that referred to? I'll tell you. They're saying, the Post is saying that Hillary Clinton had her maid print out State Department emails for her. Listen to what former CIA officer Mike Baker had to say about that. Roll tape. If I, am, if I am targeting an official, like a secretary of state, if I'm a foreign intel officer, you know who I'm going after? I'm going after the housekeeper. Yes. I'm going after the house manager. Mm -hmm. I'm going after somebody who has access to that target and that target's environment, that home. And if I find out that that person that I'm targeting, that housekeeper or house manager or whomever, has access to secure information because they're allowed for some unknown reason to walk into a skiff, I, I'm, it's a winner. I, that's a home run right there. Yeah. I mean, there's Mike Baker clearly outraged at the breach of security in what he's calling the skiff, and we will explain that right now, because who's with us? Colonel Ralph Peters is with us right now. This skiff, that sensitive, compartmented information facility, skiff, oh. that is a secure room or a secure facility, which you're never supposed to breach. Jim Carlstrom from the FBI said, you're not supposed to have an armed guard outside the door. Nobody gets in unless they've got full clearance. So that Mike Baker and Jim Carlstrom are saying, look, this is very serious, that a maid might actually have walked in and out of a skiff. You know about this stuff, Ralph. What's yeah, going well, on? Well that's, well, that's absolute nonsense because she didn't, if Hillary had had a skiff in her home, everything would be a lot better. But she didn't. She had no security whatsoever. Now, a, a skiff, and I've worked in plenty of them, uh, that's primarily for protecting top secret and above. And you want to protect all classi classified information. But a skiff itself is for the, the more sensitive and most sensitive stuff. And basically, uh, every division headquarters, Army division headquarters will, will have a skiff. Embassies have the equivalent thereof. Uh, there are places where you can work with classified information, but also where you go to discuss things and have classified discussions um, safely. But I believe there are reports that on previous occasions she had gone outside the skiff. I think we're looking at one right now. She, Henry Clinton had gone outside of it to use a device which was itself a breach of security. Um, yeah. are, are we talking about something that's real serious here, Ralph? Well, it depends. Uh, well, it's always serious. Classified, classified information is always serious. And when it's mishandled, it does put our security at risk. It depends on the particular messages, the volume, who got them. But you've got to take a 100% approach on matters of security. And um, you know, this is one thing where the, it's, it's just her behavior was and, and remains inexcusable. Okay. You said on this program, I think it was some time ago, that you were going to vote for Hillary Clinton. Have you, are you standing by that? Stuart. I think Hillary Clinton is despicable. She is, has committed criminal acts. She's greedy. She's corrupt. And yes, I'm going to vote for her. I'm going to vote for Republicans down the ballot, but I'm voting for Hillary Clinton because it's a vote against Donald Trump. I don't want Moscow's man in the White House. My concern, look, I know I could be a lot more popular this morning by saying, oh, Trump's the messiah, I'm going to vote for him. This is about the future of our country. It's about our security. And here's a guy who apologizes for everything um, Vladimir Putin does, makes crazy remarks about NATO, about Syria, about nukes, about the Mosul offensive, and, oh, by the way, about foreign trade. You want a, you want a global recession? You want to see your portfolio really tank? Sure. Just walk away from all our trade deals. Let me Great come job. back at you for a second. What I want more than anything else in this election is a growth plan, a plan to grow the U.S. economy so that we can get back to 4 or 5% growth in the economy, which brings us back to prosperity, which I think is the glue that binds us together. That's the big reason why I would call myself a Trump supporter. Is that well, not reason enough for you to sort of say, you know, you got a point, Stu? Where is the plan? Show me the plan. Of course we want growth. Well, I can but, show you. Oh, but, I can show you that. But, Tax cuts across well, I, the board. I haven't seen it. Regu you know, oh, I have. We've he's had it lying the to the American people. He's lying to blue-collar mm. workers, and that's the background I come from. The, blacks, the village blacksmith shop is not coming back. People need skills for the jobs of the future. And uh, this cult School of Trump choice. is going to lead a lot, of, a lot of places. Look, I'm not, Hillary Clinton's domestic policies repel me. She's awful. But she's safer for this country's security than Donald Trump. And I think 
Vladimir Putin has a deep hold on Trump, okay. and we should all be much more alarmed than we are. You know what? You will be back on this program, <laughs> probably by the end of the week, maybe mm -hmm. by the end of this month. Who knows? But, Ralph, you're yeah. always a valued guest, and we appreciate you being with us, and that's a fact. Well, terribly honest, I hope. <laughs> and I like your mm. books, too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck, Ralph. We'll see you again soon. Thank, Thank you. you, sir. All right, look at... <laughs>